Okay, good. So put it down. So stand up for a second. So what I want you to think, you have your up, you're so upper dominant. And very trapped dominant. In the yeah. Back too. So we need to get those out of the way right away. So if I sit up here, and my hips underneath my shoulders, and I can pull around, there's nothing wrong with it because your upper back's big, right? The idea is that I want to start in a position where I'm coiled more. So I'm locked into mid back and like lat. So if I'm starting here, I can start on the stack if I wanted. Mm -hmm. All I'm going to do is posture up and set those shoulders right here. So my ass is going to stay behind my shoulders all the time. Okay. I'm never going to end up here. So if I do end up there, it's through the motion of the pull. I break out here. Yeah. So elbow breaks immediately. I rock through. So I'm throwing shoulder back and I'm driving chest up towards the TV over there. Rocking. So it's arm swing and elbow crack more than rip around, right? So you like that lean forward for this one? Yeah. We can cheat on it. So even if you want to cheat and the stability and mobility is an issue, pull this all the way back. Oh, sit up as tall as you can. Sit up as tall as you can. That's it. Yeah, so pull this elbow in here. Chest up tall here. Eyes up though. Yeah. Just lean forward on that angle. Let your arm go from there. So let your arm go. Reach longer. Pull. Yeah. Use those feet. Stomp your feet when you pull. So right when you get straight arm, break elbow. Rock up towards the TV right ahead of you. Towards that TV in the couch. Yep. Yep. Keep this hip back. Yeah. Break that elbow right away. Yep. Strong on the feet. Yep. Pop that chest up. Longer reach, you get another inch or two. Roll. Yep. Reach, roll. Yep. Roll up. Mm -hmm. Tuck that elbow in a bit. One more. Good, man. Very good. Over here. So, this is going to be, oh, fuck. Yeah, this is a complicated machine. I was surprised to see you using it too. <laughs> yeah. So, it's the same thing we're here. Ass back, feet back. So, my feet aren't here. I'm in a racing stance. So, I'm forced to be here. All my weight's here already. So, I can't help but be forward. Because my hips are so Lead far back. Forward. Yeah. So, all I am so is just letting myself being pulled down all this pad more. So, when I go to rock up, I'm posturing to lock into elbow. So, see how here elbow's loose? I can crack here because there's so much pressure in my chest that when I rock up, I'm going to roll back and arch and slide into me. So it's not a pull. I'm rolling back and arching and then flexing my elbows low. So I'm peeling. Imagine you're peeling back and then squeezing into that like lat spread pull. Okay. Sit on it for a sec. Uh, sit up tall. That's not bad. Good. I'm going to turn that wrist in a bit. I'm going to open up that elbow. Sit up tall for me. Good. So pull this back an inch. Chest up tall. Pressure is here. Yep. So you're going to come here. You're going to crush my fingers. Nope. Put your feet there. You're good. Crush my fingers. So let the weight go down onto there. Arch and roll back and squeeze. Yep. So it's a lean back first and then a roll and pull through. So tuck that elbow in. In? You got it. Mm -hmm. Get taller when you pull. Yep. Roll back and squeeze. Keep this hip here though, don't let it go. That tip body, rock back. Yep. Let that arm go, don't guard it, let it go. Snap elbow. Let it go, snap elbow. Longer. Two, let the arm go. One more. Fall over, fall back now. Good, now, better. That upper back strong, man. Yeah, my traps. <laughs> <laughs> For all these years, it overpowered me big time. Yeah. It's like, okay, they look not super impressive, obviously, but they definitely overpower. Yeah. Just in the last few years, I've learned how to finally proprocept that lower lat. Yeah. Like with that one that you've used, yeah. or the hammer strength high row, mm -hmm. I get a good lower lat squeeze out of it. Yeah. So, do one more. Yeah. 
Give it with pressure down on my hand here. Yep. So there's elbow there. I want you to hold that there, lean forward. Hold it, squeeze that back. Let those hands go. Rock back into my hand. Pull those elbows. Snap arms and pull arm only. There you go. Claw those hands in. If it's easier to hold light, claw. Claw them in. Yep. Yep, let it go from low, let it go. Don't guard your negative so much. Eyes up. Yep. Rock. Claw that hand, break that elbow. Yep. Get up tall. Drive toward James. One. Good, man. Very good. Ah, oh, that fucking lit up. <laughs> <laughs> Felt the terries on that one. Oh. I want this to be a little lower. <laughs> so when you get here, you're, you're, what you're doing kind of is this hunching. So I'm kind of dumping over. I don't want you to dump. I want you to be chest pressure here the whole time and that arm getting pulled. I'm not rocking back here. You don't hunch as much. Yeah, so I'm pushing belly out. Lower, of, like clavicle, like right below, right below my sternum. Yeah, I felt Boom. that. I'm rolling up here. So I'm, I'm breaking elbow down and I'm leaning back and arching at the same time. Just don't. So I'm trying to go. rock into an arch. Okay. Try that. Yeah, I think, I'm I think if I'm going to let out, I have to, I have to let out from, instead of letting out over top, if you're up tall, I have to let out from there. So I'm trying to push my arm out from lat, okay. pull my lap again, push out from lat, pull back in. So I'm almost retracting when I... So the more pressure we can get up here, taller, stand up tall. There you go. That posture stays there the whole time. So pull this back, no, stay there. Good, let that arm go there. Arch back. Yeah. Yeah. Over arch here. Yeah. Butt back more. Yeah. Keep that hip there. Roll back till you feel me. Yeah, pull that thing in, man. Yeah. Rock that head up. Everything up. Look up. Yeah, up. Throw those shoulders back. One. Throw those shoulders back. Good. Good. Yeah. Nah. Uh, do one thing here. I want to show you this lat. High lat pull. Okay, so if I'm level here, I'm fucked. Because I can't, I can get lat, but I can only pull to parallel with my body, right? So all I want to do here is think sitting hip and rotating shoulders so this one's hanging. So they're offset. Now I can tilt to this side and lock into my oblique, and I can rock up towards him. So I'm up and then down. So if anything, I'm sitting down and I'm rising up towards the wall over there and tucking into lap. So this arch happens quick right here. Up. And my cue, mentally for me, what I've always done is that kind of tell people bring your elbow in and around the rib cage. Yeah. Trying to get that. But I want you to feel like, like you're saying. yeah, this is like, so we're crunching here. So I want this to feel like when I pop this up, I fold over that lap. So I'm getting up and I'm folding. So as I get taller, I can lock down lock more. more. Okay. As opposed to twisting, right? You can only do one or both? One at a time. Yeah, just stand back with it. Whatever side you feel good. So walk back even more. Just lock these legs out straight. Tip that hip back. So it's like a stiff leg deadlift stiffness there. Okay. Right? We're gonna tuck this hip down. Wrist in. Okay, I got you. Turn that wrist in. Eyes up. Good. Look off there. Feel that relaxes you. Stand up a little taller. You're gonna crunch in here. You're gonna, nope, this hip's gonna dip. You're gonna rock up into it. Don't twist. Drive straight up. Yeah, rock forward. Rock up. Yeah, rock forward. Get up. Shoulder low. Mm -hmm. Relax, let that length happen. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Rock that leg. Rock that leg. Rib cage up. There you go. Rib cage up. Yeah, man. Yeah. Drive up to the ceiling. Two more. Chest up. One. 
Good man. Good. Just think wherever, <laughs> wherever I can get my lat. So if my lat's here and my lat's wide open hanging now, yeah. all I'm doing is tucking to make it frame. So it's like the same position I would be here. You tucking to do what? So I'm uh, the same position I would be front relaxed where my lat's open. Yeah. Is the same position I'm finding here. So Trying I'm, I'm right front there. relaxed okay. here and I'm tilted and my lat's open. So I'm rocking on an yeah. open lat. That's as far as I can get. If I pull any further, I'm not on lat. Yeah, this is like lat, yeah. lat is coming to meet the bar. So I'm driving up lat to an open lat into it, rocking up. So I can almost, when I pull this handle, I'm almost tipping. When I go to pull, I'm tipping this thing down. I'm not turning it or twisting it. I'm going boom. So how, how do you keep people from using too much bicep for this exercise? They shouldn't have any, to be honest. If they're focused on the lats doing it. Yeah, because they, we're taking, we're taking bicep out of it in the sense that I'm not pulling a handle to me. I'm, my weight's pulling down on my elbow. elbow. My yeah. leg's down on my elbow, and it's just me coming up through something. I'm pulling all elbow. So right. I'm just, if anything, these two fingers are squeezing the most, and I'm tipping. So I'm just manipulating these two fingers going up through my okay. lap. That's why my grip doesn't tire, because I'm only gripping with like three fingers, really. The mm -hmm. other ones are there, but I'm trigger pulling. When I pull, I snap a trigger. Boom. Okay. Boom. When I pull. Different way to think about it. I think that this wrist being here and this elbow. Ah, yep. So turn, lock those legs up. Look off that way. And relax the shoulder. Stand up tall. Stand up tall for me. This one is tight. that shoulder. Relax it. I got you. <laughs> Send this up. I got your weight. Good. Chest up tall. Look over there. There's a the guy in the red. Let that hip retract. Ooh, Locked up. Right there. Chest up tall. <laughs> Try to get tall to the ceiling. <sighs> Rock up. Mm -hmm. So up first, yeah, low shoulder. Keep that angle there for you. Up. Get tall when you pull. Drive to meet it. Drive up to meet it. There you go. Yep. Relax there. Chest up. There you go. Relax. Up. Yep. Hard. Two. Up. One. Better. Good one. Yeah, that shoulder isn't tight. When you were trying to manipulate the arm, I was like, <laughs> it's tucked under. Couldn't get it under anymore. It's ideal, like, to get to the point where we can, I can literally understand where my lat is, that I can be right here going. Yeah. I don't even need to move my body. I'm on, I know where my lat is, and I'm sliding right into it. So I can manipulate myself over here anywhere I want. I'm, it doesn't matter. Because I'm just swaying on lat. Yeah. That but head turn people. actually helps a lot. Yeah, because the thing is, if you're here, you're going to be here. If I go, yeah, yeah, you crunch I up. understand pulling behind. Which I can it, look the fuck over there if I wanted. It's kind of silly, but yeah. when I did it, I was like, okay, yeah. I feel it relax. Because like you said, you, you can even end up straight here. Crunch. I can rotate this much here, and I can still hit lap. Yeah. It's a lot shorter of a pull. Shorter range, yeah. But I can be anywhere I want, hit lap. Just think that I'm driving chest that way, and I'm free of my neck. So as much space as I can create between here and my ear, is ideal because I don't want to do this, which I have a tendency yeah. to do. You get you get hunched and tight, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That head turn that was a good cue. Yeah, because for big guys, big guys need the more room. Space. <laughs> <laughs> you tell a girl to do that, she'll pull the fucking cord to the other side of the room, and she'll be like, eh. <laughs> "So, what's your opinion on sitting sideways in a hamstring high row? Like, no, almost okay. what you just did, but yeah, you, like me, personally, you can do like it. Half range of motion." Yeah, so you can do it track. if you're trying to work like, I'm literally trying to work like upper lat, like high insertion and just like it's just hitting that, track, but I'm not yeah. getting like, I can't turn into that. Yeah. I can't get anything. I'd much rather have a cable. Hmm. Put your feet together. So the tighter your base we have, the more rotational ability I have. So if I'm here, insert this here for me. If I'm with you, it won't hurt you. Open up this shoulder a bit. Good. Let that knee box back to it. Let that arm go. Don't, don't get tight. Just get tall when you push. There you go. Sweep that shoulder low. Yep. 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 Be free. Breathe. Oof. There you go. Yep. Spring up. I think this hip draws back. Draw it towards it. Drive your hip towards it. Let that go. Relax. Drive hip up. Two more. One more. Archer. Good. Good. 
Yeah, that was better. Felt better. I don't know if it looked better, but. <laughs> I look good. Don't even fuck around with this one. Let's just be here. Let's start. You're real sunk. Legs locked out. Stiff leg feeling. Good. Look over there at the big fan. Head up that way a bit. Good. Just start that there. Relax here. I got your weight. Let that lat go. Even shorter distance. Yeah. Even shorter. Right there. Just let sit back. Pop up. You know where it is, now. Huh? Yeah. There you go. Just be relaxed. Don't get tense. Just let that length happen. Up. Oh. Yeah, man. Can I squeeze here up? There you go. Rock up. Even taller. Look off even more. Yep. Yeah. Two. One. Good, man. Good. Very good. <laughs>